Hey folks, welcome to Fiddlehead Fiddle Lessons. I'm gonna play the tune Leave Her Johnny Leave Her, requested by a fiddlehead named Tom. And then I'll show you a few ways to learn and practice. Here we go. So the tune is in G major, so it's a great thing to just warm up with the simple G major scale. This tune exactly covers that range, so the lowest note in the tune is open G and the highest note is D3. It makes for a great practice tune when you start playing around with transposing, which could be fun and really expand your musical mind. So we could easily transpose that to D by starting on open A. Or to, we can transpose it to A major by starting on open E. Go back to D, to G, the original key. Make it more challenging by transposing up an octave. So we stay in G, but we start instead of open D, we start A3 D. We'll have sheet music for that on, on the site. And then some even harder transpositions, like you could actually That would have been um, G sharp. So you could you could really test yourself. So even if you're a much more advanced player, you could use a simpler tune like this and really see, can you play it in all 12 keys? Can you play it up the neck? So that's just one thing you can do with it. But let's bring it back to something simpler, which is simply learning to be more musical through using your voice. And even if you don't like singing, there's some tricks you can do. So the, if you are okay with singing, maybe just on your own, you could learn the lyrics. Always a good idea because it helps you to remember tunes if you know the lyrics. So you could do something like... They were hard and the wages low. And then alternate. Oh, the time. If you keep going back and forth, this tune will be learned a lot more deeply. Plus, you will be a lot more engaged in the practice. It'll be a lot more fun, I think. And there's a lot of creative ways to practice using this kind of call and response game. You could also simply hum or whistle. If you're not, if you hate singing, you know, you could do humming. And then alternate with that and fiddling. Or alternate with whistling. And you could also finally, this is almost an improvisation idea, you could alternate between the two octaves. If you can play the tune in both octaves, like here too. Take that part and then do it in the lower octave. And then back to the high octave. So it's a call and response between the octaves. So I call that octave talking. It's just a name of a specific kind of call and response game. 
So those are just some ideas to get you going. Like I said, on the site, we have some sheet music generously made by Tom. And we also have some video loops that so you can loop on each section very easily of the tune. And hopefully that's helpful to you guys. Let me know if you find some other cool way to practice. Uh, I'm going to keep wandering around this park in Los Angeles looking for spots to make videos. So thanks for watching and having a lot of fun with you guys. And it's great to get to know some of you, slowly getting to know some of you through the group lessons. Okay, take care. Go to fiddlehead.com for a progressive step-by-step -step course outline, color-coded tabs, play-along tracks, sheet music, and much more. Thanks for watching my video clocking. Excellent! And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks. Thank <laughs> you.